terms as follows. One week from this moment, we'll contact you with a time and a place. Absolutely not. No way I'm waiting a whole week. Miss Cat, you must understand the predicament. Our employer must take all necessary precautions. If you were to be found out and the item was to fall into the wrong hands, my employer would never have a chance to retrieve it again. This would not do. Yeah, I'm sure. But there are always eyes watching you, Gotham. Someone's watching you right now. Highly doubtful. And we hope this is not the case with you. Not this shit, Not tonight. I gave you credits, Vinny. I don't know what more you want. Don't want your donations. You don't get to buy your way out with somebody else's creds. You earn. Understand Vinny, me? Vinny, please. Or perhaps you wish not to continue with our transaction, Miss Cat. I can assure you, that would be a mistake. Don't threaten me. If you're going to change the terms, then so will I. I want 20% more. For the inconvenience. I want to do this to you, Holly. You leave me no choice. <laughs> I gotta rough you up, or a boss will rough me up. Everybody's got a boss in this town, see? You understand me? Done. 20% more. Alright then. One week. And Miss Cat? My employer wishes me to inform you that your avarice is truly admirable. For one to get ahead in times like these, one must be absolved of all guilt. One must be consumed by greed, caring only for one's personal gain. And one week from tonight, you will become a very wealthy individual. Well done. Your father, Danton, would have been proud. Just have my money in one week, or I find another buyer. Have a pleasant evening, Miss Cat. Don't start this conversation with an excuse, or I'm sorry. There's no excuse, but I am sorry. Terry... Dana, I... Do you think I want to have to keep apologizing to you for this? You're right. There are no more excuses. But there is a conversation I know we have to have, just not right now because I'm at work and a I can't... conversation, yes. But not that conversation. I mean, I want to tell Look, there's some things you should know. It's just, I, I don't want to have one of those, listen, we really need to talk kind of conversations. I really want to talk. I want to explain. Okay. Okay. I understand. You want a chance to explain everything? Just a chance. And if you can manage to stay in my presence for more than 10 minutes, I'll listen. Okay. All right. When and where? When? And where? Oh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I'll call you about the where. Pick up, right? I might answer. Fair enough. 
Dana. I really want you to know how much I appreciate you being there for me the other night. My dad, cemetery. I'm here. Dana! Okay, well, I guess I'll let you go then. Yeah, I have to get back to work. So soon though! Real fun's just about to get started. Damn! You're pretty, girl. What are the T's doing in this part of town? Whatever the fuck we want, Twip. What are you, some kind of Joker's lover? Lover? Listen, guys. We don't want any trouble. Yeah? Too bad for you. Too bad for her. What do you want to do, Big T? I'll tell you what I want. A nice little piece of that. Oh, you should have done that. She broke my fucking nose! Ah, stop your crying. <clears throat> well, you know what they say. Here you go, Big T. A nose or an eye. Uh, no one says that. <laughs> that sounds stupid. <laughs> now, they might say an eye for an eye. But even that's dumb, foolish, idiotic. Yeah. You know what's idiotic? Hmm. Those outfits you parade around in. Right. Trying to pay homage to the clown prince of crime, but only embarrassing yourselves and his legacy. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. What, what? What do you know of it? Painting a big red T on your face pays homage. To what? Tampons. Tuberculosis. Tough guy trainees. Transsexual pterodactyls. Pterodactyl starts with a P. <laughs> you, but he is growling at Basically me. Basically not very intimidating, is it? I'll show you intimidating. You will. Oh. Red paint from his face. Ah! Oh my God. You guys, as soon as I saw them, I called the cops and I just locked the door. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. So they're gone now? Yeah. Shrey. Hey, Dana, the boss really needs your help. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. I don't even question all this crazy anymore. The city's going to hell in a handbasket. That's why I'm moving to Metropolis. You just get in from work? A few minutes ago, yeah. Did you eat today? Yeah, I did. I can make you up some leftovers from last night if you want. That's okay. I'd probably just grab a small snack or something. I gotta get to work. I don't want to be late. Oh, I sometimes forget assisting his billionaire lifestyle requires you working such crazy hours. <sighs> Whatever it takes to help out around here. It's no problem. Really. Are you sure? What's that? That it's no problem. I just don't want you to be overwhelmed with work. 
I'd rather your happiness above all else be a priority. And if that means taking some time away from work with Mr. Wayne, don't think that I'd be upset or feel like you're neglecting us or any such thing. We can still get by if you need to take some time off. Some time off? No, I don't feel overwhelmed or anything. I'm happy, Mom. I am. Where's this coming from? This weekend. I've been reflecting, thinking about your father and his job, the city, the news lately. I hardly ever see you, and it seems like you don't eat or sleep enough, and I Mom. just... You don't have to worry about me. Mary, we only get one go-round in life. And I want you to be doing what's best for you. When you first got this job with Mr. Wayne, I thought, great, we'll keep you out of trouble. And I see that it has. I see that it's helped you. Yes. It has a lot. And uh, you've talked to me about making a difference in the city and that being part of the legacy you leave behind. So I want you to know that if you ever want to take some time off to explore other avenues of interest other than working crazy hours for Mr. Wayne, that I'm okay with whatever you need to do to make you happy. Well, I am happy. I'm healthy. I'm happy and healthy. Good. Good. And right now, so far, working for Mr. Wayne, I think might play a big part in my legacy. So, no worries there, Mrs. McGinnis. Terry, I am your mother. I will always worry about you and your brother, and there isn't anything you can do about that. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Spellbinder. Ink. Did anyone follow you here? No, of course not. Of course not. The agent. What has become of him? Does he say he became a guinea pig for my new invention? Flung himself off the roof right now. Is he dead? I... I would assume so. You would assume so. Hmm. So then, should I assume no one has followed you here? Or should I assume the agent is still alive and could be trying you back here? I assume if I tear your face off, that would be unpleasant for you. Hmm. But she wouldn't like that, would she? No, Ink, she would not. Dr. Haley, aren't you supposed to be working? Stage one will be complete soon. We'll be leaving tonight. Good. Then I'm sure Spellbinder's services are no longer needed. Be that as it may, she said no killing. Not while on her payroll. Now that his cover is blown, this coward will turn us in at the first sign of an HFI agent. Who knows if he's left any breadcrumbs to be followed here. That doesn't matter at this point. What does matter is that I gave all of you my word in exchange for yours. And that word shall be honored. Spellbinder has indeed exhausted his usefulness. But the job is done, and he will be paid. And he will leave this place honoring our arrangement. Yes. <clears throat> yes, I will. Ink? No hard feelings. That's why I came <clears throat> to discuss my payment. And no, I wasn't followed. Your remaining balance will be in your account tonight. There is nothing more. You may go. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Should I prepare the unit for transport? Yes, Dr. Haley. 
Thank you. Yes, Inc. Now that we've obtained everything you need, and stage one is almost complete, what's our next move? Our next move is to pack things up and to part ways. There's still much more to be done, but Neo Gotham is no longer the place to do it. Hmm. All the trouble you've gone through. I truly hope he's worth it. Some kind of drag or something? You think you can buy me off through your petty creds? I don't know what more you want. I want you to earn. You belong to me. Oh. We're leaving tonight. We're going to Star City. He's got a condo there and we're going to be happy. Why can't you just take the creds and be happy for me? Star City? He ain't going to want to take you nowhere once I rearrange your face. Hey! No! What the hell is this shit here? Are you some kind of Batman lover or something? Or something. Don't go nowhere, Holly. I'm gonna take care of this girl play dress up over here. Then we're gonna finish a conversation. Don't! Why not? Because if you kill him, I'll be in even more trouble. In this city, everyone has a boss. What did you do? Now, you can be your own boss. Take a train to Star City and have your friend meet you there. Don't come back to New Gotham or the consequences of your old life will haunt you. Who are you? <laughs> I'm nobody. Just a stray.